All right. I decided to go ahead and go live again from the campus so that you could get an opportunity to look at the Stokely, the Wheeler Stokely Mansion. As you can see, this is the Office of Admissions. But very, very beautiful building. Very nice architecture. I went and reviewed uh, the hauntings of this location. Allegedly, as I said, a woman comes out the door a brown-headed woman uh, to look to get into what appears to be a carriage the building was built in 1912 were people still traveling by carriage in 1912 it's a good question there's a man seen walking his dogs that's the story of the dogs that I uh, couldn't recall So, if anybody that's watching happens to be a student at Marion University, you watch this video. If you've had anything weird happen to you while you've been on campus in the office admissions or the office of the president, please chime in. Let us know. ahead and switch it around as I walk back to the car the last place I'm gonna go uh, as far as I'm concerned is the best uh, because I actually can get a whole lot closer in and looking around at some of the stuff so give me enough time to get to our next spot and I'll go live there uh, I'm gonna get in the car but yeah, that's kind of interesting that you've got two haunted locations within a stone's throw of each other. Um, the Allison House is supposed to be the most haunted Indi in Indiana and has some really good stories behind it. This one, I'm not sure. Uh, no real way to confirm those stories. Um, it just, they sound kind of generic in a way. Um, and like I said, if there's somebody getting into a carriage, I know that um, people were still traveling by horseback and stuff in 1912. Automobile wasn't that popular everywhere back then. So I don't know. So it's one of those things I have to get in there and research in order to get the stories. That's one thing that is kind of a lesson to be learned there. Sometimes you'll get um, history or some type of alleged haunting that happens in a place and the haunting or the, the it doesn't match the time frame. It would be like, for example, uh, if this building had been built in like 1976 and, you know, they saw somebody getting into a carriage, well... You know, why would be people getting into horse-ridden carriages in 1976? Now, that's not to say something couldn't be tied to the property. There's always that. But whenever you hear about hauntings, you want to make sure you do your research because there's sometimes things that may not fit correctly uh, as far as the time or the period that the haunting was supposed to have taken care of, taking uh, place in. But, yep, I'd really like to go into the... Uh, the Allison house, especially if it's the most haunted. But the next place I'm going to take you, uh, like I said on the first video, uh, even I got the willies there. So give me some time. We'll get there. We'll go live again. It'll be the uh, last one of the night. Talk to you guys later.